Okay, I want to show you, share with you the advanced Peng Choi Gua Choi drill. In this drill, why is it advanced? Because you're learning to uh, place counter time. Counter time is very important. So both people now are working on this drill, the person doing the Peng Choi Gua Choi as well as the person receiving it. The person receiving it is learning not only how to block and move their hands, but how to counter attack. It's very important. We'll show you what I mean. Okay, so the regular Ping Choi Gua Choi over here, the regular one, I'll come to you, Dee, the regular one. See, he parries, and then I can Tak Sao, and then I can Ping Choi, and then I can Gua Choi. Okay, so you can see that again. So the regular one, see, he's passive. So I Ping Choi, I Gua Choi. I shift off, I Ping Choi, and I Gua Choi. That's our regular good old one that we've always done. Now, the thing that's different here is that instead, this time of D just parrying, what he's gonna do is he's gonna do a Pak Da. Bam! Simultaneous pak da. So he's going to try to attack my attack. Bam! That's the idea he's looking for. So I've got to keep this hand up. So the first part's going to be like this. Boom! Ooh, sorry, okay? So that's the key. So as he goes here, I catch his. And we're going to come to hit here. Take the hand away just for a second. Okay, so as I go, boom! There's the idea. I capture his counter. But what he's going to do is he's going to keep Wu Sao up. So as I come here, he pak da's me. Okay, everybody, watch that again. I counter the park that come up here, he checks. The opening is over there. As I shift, look what he does with this woos out here, this hand. He pocks. Boom. And hit. Boom. Okay, pock and hit. Remember? Or use the other hand to pock and hit. Okay, so check this out. Look how he pocks and hits at that point. So one, two, three. Use that hand. Okay, so boom. That's kind of what we're looking for. There's the idea. As I go here, boom, bam. So slowly, he pak does. I pak his pak da and come up here. As I go down, he pocks that one and does a pak da as he shifts off. Okay, that's very important. So I gotta either zone out of the way so if he extends that hand and retracts, I'm out of the way, then I can come back. Or when I'm here like this, I gotta be able to catch it at the same time. Okay, so we'll see what this looks like. So Daryl's gonna come really slowly. He's gonna start. I see how I attack the attack. That's very important. As he comes, go ahead. That's passive. I attack the attack. Now he continues. And then we get to that point. Now from there, he's gonna shoot that one over here. As he shoots that over here, this is where I'm gonna have this as a pox out. I'm not gonna let this score. So watch this again. So, boom, boom, bam. See, I attack the attack again. So every time he goes, I attack the attack. I check and attack the attack. Okay? So we're both moving. There's going to be my next hit. Maybe I can take it on halfy. Right over the top. Okay? Or, there's the idea. So we're making that an advanced, uh, you could call it a counter pink choy guacho drill. Here's try.